Hey everyone, welcome to your 31st JavaScript video in which we're gonna take a look at a very interesting, however very important topic in JavaScript which people often mess around with and that is the differences between double equal to and triple equal to, right? So what happens with JavaScript is that when you compare two variables, let's say A is something, let's say B is also something, right? So when you try to compare A with B with double equal to or triple equal to, what JavaScript does first of all is <coughs> it determines the type of both the variables, right? So either there could be two possibilities. The types are same. Types of A and B are same. And by type, I mean that both A and B are strings or both A and B are numbers or both A and B are objects, stuff like that. Or the other possibility is the types of A and B are different, right? Right. So when this happens, when types are same, what happens is that depending on the type of variable, it would either compare the value or the memory location, basically, right? So it could either compare the value, if it's a literal, if it's a you know a string number stuff like that otherwise in case of arrays it, it's going to compare memory but you don't need to remember all of this i'm just telling you how the javascript works under the hood right don't need to get into a lot of details right now because that's not really required on the basic one but still it's good to know what's happening if types are different then what happens is a type conversion first right so what happens is javascript converts one type into another type to actually compare them, right? Because you cannot compare apples with oranges, right? So you need to convert either one into another to actually compare them. So let's take a look at A being two and B being, being B being this. So what I'm gonna do is write console console log A is equal to B. Let's see what happens. So we get false for triple equal to. Now the reason for this is that once you encounter equal to or equal to, the step one is check types. Step two is if type is not same and operator is triple equal to, then return false. That means, you know, they're not equal. Otherwise, what happens is if type is not same and operator is double equal to, then, you know, change the type type of one variable and finally compare the values type is now same right in either case if it's not same then triple equal to actually just you know returns false if it's not same and the operator is double equal to it changes the type and then finally both of these operators compare the values so what happens with triple equal to is because the types are not same you know it returns false automatically However, if we do a double equal to, you're gonna see that we get true instead because two is compared to a string. So what happens is that this type is changed from number to string and then basically both of them have, you know, are equal. So it returns true. So what's happening under the hood is JavaScript is calling two string on A to make it string which eventually returns you two in the form of strings right so there are all the rules written out how you how you decide which type is upgraded and what happens but i'm not really going to get into depth of that right now but for just your preference that's what's happening right now so a is converted to string and is compared to b and therefore you know they are true they are same on a similar basis what happens is let's just say I have an array one two three and I have a string b as one two three now what happens see the double equal to returns true surprisingly well why is that well you can guess that if you call dot two string the two string method on an array you should probably get something like this one two three see so if you forcefully convert an array to a string you get all the values separated by comma right so that's essentially what JavaScript does under the hood. So it sees, oh, you are comparing a string to an array. 
let me just convert array this array to a string and then compare them however if you directly compare them with triple equal to it will quit on step one step two because their types are not the same right so this is a string this is an array you know you can compare them so false yeah they're not equal cool another thing is that if you even have same types then if you run this save you see we still get false now why is that you might argue that uh, you know both might be called as two string but hey we are not comparing arrays with strings right so javascript does not perform a type conversion here it directly compares the values and in case of values it refers to the memory location of a and b and because they are different it's obvious that it will return false right however if you did like something like let b is a then obviously it will return true because both point at the same memory location so as a matter of fact instead of getting confused what i recommend you guys is to always use triple equal to because double equal to for using double equal to right way you have to know how the type conversion works and you know which types might convert into which so for example you might mistake this to be like for example you want to check if b is defined or not so what you can do is if b console log you know b b is not b is defined otherwise you know just b is not defined d e f i n e right now you might think that well b is yeah it's defined but what you actually get is it's not defined because you're trying to compare a number to a boolean right because a boolean goes in here right so when you convert zero to boolean it's false so if you don't know that you might just miss this so what you want to do is actually check if b is actually undefined or b is actually false you know whatever condition you want to do then only you want to do basically you know actually we did something wrong so we want to check if b is not undefined or b is not equal to false that means b is defined right you can see that uh, for double equal not equality check as well we are making use of the an equal uh, exclamation sign and two equal to instead of just one right so that's how you have to work so i guess that's all for this video i'll see you then in the next one